Hi, I'm John with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on using Sonic Pi. Uh, we're going to just cover the super, super basics as quickly as we can so you can jump in and start making some music. So uh, here, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I have got Sonic Pi pulled up here, and I've got the tutorial for Sonic Pi pulled up here as well. Um, this is a amazing, amazing resource. Uh, Sonic Pi, Sonic-Pi.net slash tutorial. Uh, incredibly helpful. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, you can scroll through. It's really well written. It's super easy. But we're not going to go through the whole tutorial. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we're just going to do what we need to do to get you started as soon as possible. So uh, here's uh, on the left side of the screen is Sonic Pi. It's a coding environment for making music, uh, and it's really easy to make sounds. First thing you have to do is go hit play, and then you can just type in a number. So play 60. Uh, then you can go up to the top and hit the play button or press command R or control R depending on your operating system. I'm just going to press the play button. We got a beep. That's it. <laughs> uh, high numbers are, uh, are higher sounds. So if I play sound and then lower numbers are uh yeah pretty good uh this isn't super exciting uh so if you want to play more than one sound at a time <laughs> you can um use the sleep function so i'll sleep one i'll play a 67 and then sleep 0.5 play 63 and then play 60. Um, now I've got two plays in a row here. So what they're going to do is play the sounds almost instantly. There's not going to be any gap unless I put asleep. So uh, if you want to follow along with the sounds, first it's going to play 60 and wait. Then it'll play 67 and sleep for a little bit. And then it'll play those two sounds together. Even though they're on two different lines, they're going to play them almost at the same time because there's no sleep between them. All right, here we go. I'll do that one more time so you can listen. Okay, so that's pretty good. I like that. But um, most of the time, if you're making music, you don't want to just have it play once. <laughs> you might want to have it loop, and then you can change it a little bit over time, uh, sort of uh, turn it into some kind of groove. Uh, and to do that, we're going to make a live loop. We'll, um, we'll give it a name, and then we'll put end at the end of it. Now what this is going to do is it's going to loop my pattern over and over and over again. Uh, the name that I gave it can be whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I just chose chord because uh, it has, plays a chord at the end. And uh, Oh, and let's put a sleep at the end of it just so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't mess up on us. All right, here we go. Yeah, and that's just going to play over and over again. And if I wanted to, ch if I change it, now listen, I'm gonna, I changed it to, 60, to, to 69. It's not going to change yet, even though I changed the number. I have to run it again in order for those changes to take. Oh, that's not a good down. <laughs> Let's change it. Oh, yeah, there we go. press control s to stop uh, that's already pretty solid <laughs> i like that um but i think uh i want to try some different sounds uh, to do that we can change the synth we can go use synth and then we have a bunch of options here um there's so many to choose from i'm not super <laughs> concerned about it i'll just choose kalimba uh, and now the sound's going to be a little bit different I can change the volume by changing amp. No, that didn't work. I see I have an error down here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's okay. Let me look at the tutorial and see if I can figure out how to do the volume. Let's scroll down. There's a bunch of examples here. Let's see, amplitude. Yes. Okay, so I have to do it down here potentially. Yeah, 
let's try that. So I'll do amp 1.5 for all of these. Get us a little bit louder. There we go, yeah. That's nice. Cool, I like that sound. Sounds pretty good. Live loop, we can change the notes. That's the basics. Now, um, there's, that's not the only way to do uh, to do sounds in Sonic Pi. Uh, you can also, I'm just gonna comment this out real quick. Um, I pressed Command Slash to gray it out so that it doesn't affect anything. Um, you can also do samples, and there's there's so many to choose from. Uh, I'm gonna start with a bass drum. And uh, so the sample is a little bit different than the than the playing of the notes. Uh, a sample is like a recording of an instrument. The bass drum. That's a little aggressive. I, I don't love that. Let's see if I can browse through and find something else. Uh, just gonna audition a couple of. There we go. This I like this one. Yeah, I, I mean it's a little extra. I don't know. Uh, you you'll have to use your own sort of judgment for. Uh, what the sound? What sounds you like? Uh, but let's throw this into a a loop as well. Call it live loop. I will call this drums and end. Uh, now we have solid. Let's put our chords back. And they're not quite synced up. Uh, let me, let's, let's stop it and try again. There we go. Pretty good. I'm gonna copy this. I have four, and then on the middle one, I'll have a, I have a snare drum. Basics. Uh, you can change out the samples. You can change out the notes. We can maybe we can add add a like a really low note here. Um, let's see what what notes gonna sound good. Uh, I'm subtract. I want to try to want to subtract twelve. So forty eight. And then let's sleep for point two five. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, so that that sounds pretty good. I I just think this is a little slow. And so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change the tempo, to change how fast things go. Uh, at the top, you can do use BPM, and uh, and we'll say let let's change this to 144. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, maybe let's go 80. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, maybe even a little slower. No, oh, that's almost the same tempo as before. 82. There we go. Yeah, that, that's that's good. Okay, and that's the basics of Sonic Pi in you know 25 lines of code. We've got something that sounds pretty okay. That's that's how you do it. So uh, definitely at this point, you are pretty much ready to uh, to start experimenting. Uh, but there are a couple of things that are really really useful to know about before you dive in any further. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to group notes together and to create patterns that repeat, how to change those patterns, uh, structure your code a little bit differently. It's going to be very, very cool. So uh, definitely go try this out for yourself. And then when you're ready, come back and uh, check out the following video. Uh, good luck and happy coding.